Hello everyone. Um, in my video on how to make this juice label, um, I um, told you all that I made um, this happy second birthday Araya um, using um, Adobe Photoshop and someone left a question in the comments um, asking what if you don't have Photoshop. So I'm actually going to show you how to make this in Microsoft Word. I would have done it in the video but it's sort of kind of time consuming so that's why I went on and pre-made it and just dragged it in so I'm going to show you now how you can make this exact same thing in Microsoft Word so I'm going to pull this to the side and zoom in a little um, I'm going to try to do something down at the bottom what I'm going to start off doing is I'm going to insert um, text box here. I'm just going to choose this first one and I'm going to type in happy second birthday. Oh wait a minute, Um, let me choose my font first. I'm going to go to home and my font is going to be bunny, funny. And I think I got this from Creative Fabrica. I'll find out where I got it from and I will leave a link at the bottom of the um, video. And I'm gonna just type happy second birthday. So that font didn't take, it looks like. No, it didn't. Let me try it again. Bunny, funny. And I'm going to make it a size 32. And as you can see, 32 is not listed here. But what you can do is just type it right here where it's highlighted. Just type in 32. And I didn't want this to go to two lines. So I'm just going to come here to this right here and just stretch it out until birthday goes back up. And that's basically it. Um, let me zoom in on this a little more so you can really watch me work. And this is why I didn't do this here because I chose all those colors on the letters. And that takes a little time. So I'm going to go ahead and start now. I'm just going to just choose random colors for now. Um, you all can perfect it when you're doing it. If you know what colors you want to choose and what you're going to do, you can do that. Um, I guess I should also say, too, once you highlight a letter, you can come here and choose um, this one here. And there's um, a couple of ways you can add colors in. You can choose, well, like three ways. You can choose a color from here, and you can just go across each color, and it'll show you what it looks like. Or... You can come down to more colors and you can choose um, standard color from one of these and it doesn't show it to you until you um, click OK. So I want to do that. I'll go a little pinker there and then click OK. It'll come up. Or you can um, also go back to more colors and choose custom and then you can randomly choose one of these colors from here it'll give you a palette over here to pull from and you can click and it'll show you what it looks like and you can click OK so you have several ways to um, choose colors um, What happened to my A here? Let me pick a color for this A. I don't like the way this looks, but I'm just doing this for the video right now. Okay. And this is why I didn't show you in the other video, because like I said, this is really, really time consuming. And it does take a little time to figure out what you want to do. 
what colors you want to choose. Also, if this menu right here just happened to disappear, you can come over here, make sure you're on the home palette here, and um, choose it from here. Same thing. Do I even have a... Oh, I do. Choose a pink. Now, what I'm going to do is this um, shape format. I'm going to click here on shape format, and I'm going to fill the shape with a color. I'm going to choose black because I want you to be able to see what I'm about to do. And I'm going to highlight the whole word here. And then I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go back to home here. And we're going to choose this right here is text effects and I'm going to choose outline and then I'm going to choose a color for the outline that I want and I'm choosing white okay and you can see the outline the word is still highlighted which I want it to be I'm going to go back to outline and this time I'm going to go to weight and in the weight what I want to do is figure out how thick I want that outline to be and as you see, as you go down, it gets thicker. I'm going to go with one point. Click on that. And you see it now. You see the white outline? Okay, now the box. I'm going to go back to Shape Format. I'm going to go to Shape Fill. And I'm going to choose No Fill. And then I'm going to go to Shape Outline. And I'm going to choose No Outline. Okay, I'm going to bring it down. To where I want it to be. Uh, hold on. And again, we're going to be using. Um, well, this looks a little too big, so I'm going to just drag it down a little. Well, too much. Actually, I'm not going to drag it down. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to make the font just a little bit smaller and I have to highlight the word again in order to get that to work I'm gonna go I should have left I could use that menu I'm sorry but I'm gonna go to home and I'm gonna change this to 30 yeah that makes it a little better and I want to align it with the center and it doesn't look like I have the um alignment Turn down here, so I'm going to click on Shape Format. I'm going to go to Align, and I'm going to go to, yep, I do, Use Align Guide. It looks like it's on, but it doesn't seem to be working. Let me try it again. And as you 
if you watch my um, video on how to make this, then you know what I'm looking for. I'm trying to get this to center. I'm trying to get that vertical line to show up. There it is. To show me that I have it centered. I'm going to bring it up a little more. Okay. It's really that easy. And then I'm just going to go and insert the name. So I'm going to click on insert and come back to the text box again. I can draw a text box. I'm just going to draw one right here. And I'm just going to go with the name Jamie. Okay, I want the same font. And I'm going to put a link at the bottom. I think I said it already for the font as well. If you want to use this font, enter. And I've made the size of that down near 30, so I'm going to make this. 30 as well and if this happened just drag your box out until you see the word and try to get the box as close in as you can so that when it centers it'll look centered because if I were to like have this box out to here and then I bring it down to here and I grab these two and I say center it's going to be so off so I don't want that to happen so Try to drag it in as close as you can. If a letter disappears, just pull out a little more until it comes back. Okay, I'm going to make this over to the side. And again, we're going to go through choosing the colors that we want. And you don't have to really do this. You can make it one color if you want. That's up to you. It doesn't have to be multicolored. And if you're going to make it one color, you can highlight the whole name and just choose a color. Instead of doing it um, letter by letter. I thought I had a pink up there. I'm going to go with this one. Okay. And then again, like I said, I'm going to make the shape. I'm going to color it in so I can see exactly what it's going to look like. So I'm going to choose black. Then I'm going to... Oh, that didn't work. Let's see. Let's try it again. Shape format. Shape fill. Black. Okay. And then I'm going to highlight the word. And I'm going to go back to um, home here, and I'm going to choose text effect. I'm going to go to outline. I'm going to choose my color white. And I think it's still set at 100, the outline, but let's just make sure. I'm going to go back to outline. And I'm going to go to weight, yes, and it's set at oh, it's one point. There you go. Now, if I were you, you know, take some time and go through all of this. You'd be amazed at some of the things you can do with these. Um, maybe another time I'll go over some of them, but right now I'm just making this video to show y'all exactly how I did this. And then... I'm going to go back to shape format and shape fill is going to be no fill. And shape outline is going to be no outline. And then I'm going to move it down here. I'm going to center it. Bring it down just a little. Oh, there it is. Trying to find that. There we go. And there you go. It's that easy. Okay, so um, thank you guys so much um, for watching this video. I hope it was helpful, and if it was, please remember to click on the like button below. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And um, please um, click the bell 
and choose all to receive notifications as to when I add up a new video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them down below. I do really try to read all the comments and I do really try to answer all questions. So don't hesitate to leave those below. Again, thank you so much for watching.